Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization. Exciting Bigfoot sighting report. We got the report while we were on our way home from Montana. We were on the Idaho-Montana border visiting the famous Bauman Bigfoot location. We were driving through Chalice and started getting text messages from Carol Davis and she was sitting with a witness in Twin Falls, Idaho that had had a Bigfoot sighting in the Devil's Coral Canyon. Very exciting for us because we were just there a few months before investigating a Bigfoot sighting location. This Devil's Corals Canyon is near the Shoshone Waterfalls. It's only a mile or so up the river from these waterfalls. The Mighty Snake River. A lot of Bigfoot sightings happen along here. We go to Jarbage a lot that's near here. The Jarbage River flows into the snake near the Shoshone waterfalls. So very exciting Bigfoot location for us. We're going to tell you her short and sweet report while we take a look around. Like I said, we were here not too long ago investigating another Bigfoot sighting that happened in this very canyon. It was much longer ago. This is pretty recent in comparison. Snake River's down there. The spring is above us to our left. You know, I was like, is, is this like a water source? Why would an animal need a water source close to the Snake River? Well, the the snakes clear down at the bottom of the guts of this canyon and we didn't have to hike very far from the lip of the canyon to get to that spring so if you're wanting to stay up towards the top of the canyon for animals and stuff that's a place to get a drink and a place to eat there's swamp stuff all around that spring cattails and willows and here's something moving around down in there It's big. What frick is that? Carol Davison was sitting with the witness in Twin Falls relaying the sighting report to us. The girl wants to go by her initials SC like most people that give their Bigfoot sighting reports. She wants to remain anonymous. We have known Carol Davison quite a long time in the Bigfoot community and she knew that we had just been in the Devil's Coral Canyon taking a look around for Bigfoot following up on a sighting report that happened a few decades ago. This one was really recent. This is SC's sighting report. She had an encounter in 2014 in Devil's Coral Canyon. She was hunting coyotes at night, calling them in. She had her scope and her rifle and was laying in the back of the pickup truck. She said she saw eye shine just above the sage, but wanted to watch and make sure it wasn't a range cow. Then it stood up. Another Devil's Corral Canyon Bigfoot sighting. Carol Davison wasn't able to get any further details out of the witness that's all we have for right now uh, we've tried reaching out several times to get more details that's what we have that's the second Bigfoot sighting on this part of the Snake River that we know about the Snake River is a Bigfoot Mecca for sighting reports very long river but a lot of them happen near the river and some of the tributaries that pour into the river, like we said, the Jarbage all the way up to Yellowstone through the Tetons, got a lot of Bigfoot sightings. So we're going to frequent the Snake River quite a bit, following up on Bigfoot sighting reports and searching for Bigfoot ourselves. I hope you enjoyed a look at this part of the Snake River near the Shoshone Falls, Devil's Coral Canyon. Keep on watching, we're gonna keep on squatching. Looks like someone's up here walking around without shoes. Looks like someone barefooted. It's um, only 13 inches long. But, it's like six inches wide right here. And then, there's kind of like a hump between the mm -hmm. the foot pad and the heel. And the heel is 
five inches across. It's not too long, but it's wide. A lot of people that hunt for Bigfoot are interested in the caves. I don't necessarily think Bigfoot's a caveman. I don't think he dwells in a cave. However, I think Bigfoot's probably an opportunist. And uh, during the worst parts of the summer, worst parts of the winter, I'm sure they use caves from time to time for shelter. Why not? Bears, mountain lions do. So when we see a cave that we can get to, Curiosity gets the better of me, and I have to take a peek.